So it's just kind of a setup for this. Alright, so here's a Dom, Dom Duke in tutorial with a little uh, Al Dueco love. So like, the way that I did it at first was like this, which is actually pretty consistent. And it works for me because of the way that I, that, that's uh, easy for me to put in the inputs. So you can do this too if it works for you, you know, whatever. Just make sure you get all the way to D-Rex's nose, and then you jump up and do the inputs. But I'll do decided that it would be good to do something more like this. Um, hang on while I get it. Something like that. So instead of jumping back, you just jump straight up. And the reason this works is because both of these works is because this ledge is actually, you can kind of jump through its bottom and catch your toe. So as long as you're all the way up against him, you can't bonk and you catch your toe. So that's why this works. So with this method, I suppose if you don't do the inputs right, you could get bonked. Um, if all you're doing is rolling your finger though, you shouldn't. You may not catch the edge every time, but you shouldn't get bonked. With this method, it's impossible to get bonked as long as you're not pushing forward whenever you jump. You know, six of one, half a dozen of the other. Uh, this one's probably a little bit easier to get quicker, quicker kill with it. Like quicker, we're talking like frames. But see, you can you can still bonk if you put in the inputs late, or if you put in the Hadouken input. You know, you gotta basically put it in as you jump. So that's how you do. I'm gonna call it the Dom Dukin with the with a little bit of Aldueco flair. So there you go, there you have it. There you have it. Fairly simple. Just realize that the point of this trick is that you can come here and jump to your heart's content. As long as you don't move forward after jumping, you'll catch the ledge and you won't bonk. So that's how that's done. Like I said, just make sure you're putting in the Hadouken input as you jump. Jump enough to grab the ledge and then Put in a nice, put in a limit input, you get it every time. Risk none, RNG that it reduces all of it. All of the RNGs. So like I said, I, uh, I found this setup here to kind of go against D-Rex and uh, Aldueco kind of decided that he would just jump up. I guess he decided that he couldn't do the backwards thing, so he decided to do a forward Hadouken and it worked for him. And the reason it works is because you grab a ledge. So, there you have it. A tutorial on how to do the Dom Dukin. Uh, easiest, uh, e easier than Armadillo Skip. Literally easier than Armadillo Skip. It should take anybody who's been playing MMX. Uh, minutes to do this the first time and then you should take minutes to get consistency so um, I'm kind of tired but I, I can't see this being a trick that anyone ever messes up once they start implementing it in their runs right there firing a lemon too soon always wait till you land but yeah so there you have it I'm gonna post a video of uh, of me finding this and how that happened, because it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, I'm going to post this on YouTube, so enjoy. Go learn yourself some Dom Dukin. That's what I'm calling it. Aldueco added a little bit of flair there. So awesome to him.